Hey friends, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Today, I wanna to talk about the most effective way to pack your tent into your backpack for backpacking. Now, learning how to effectively pack your tent up will make it so much easier for you to pack your bag and get it ready for you to go out on the trail. And it's very easy to look at this and go, how the heck is this going to fit inside of my backpack? So I'm gonna show you today the most effective way that I have found to pack your tent, make it fit inside of your backpack, and just reduce the amount of space that this takes up inside of your backpack. Now a lot of tents are gonna come packaged like this, where you've got one bag that has your pull set, your tent body, and your stakes all in one bag, and it's going to be the size of your pull set. This is not how you want to pack your tent into your backpack. Maybe you have a trekking pole tent. The same rule applies in how you roll the tent and make it easier to pack into your backpack. Now there's obviously a lot of different ways that you can fold, roll, stuff a tent to pack it into your backpack, but I prefer the method of folding and rolling in a really nice tight roll that is the width of my backpack to just be a creature of habit, but also get it into the pack really easy that way, the same way every single time. Now I know there's some information out there about not folding and rolling your tent the same way every single time because it can create creases in the tent that would then result in premature failures or something with the fabric. I haven't found any concrete evidence for that claim and so I just don't believe that that is an actual thing for you to worry about with your product that's any different from getting out into the field and using the product having as much damage opportunity as it being rolled into a specific way. So the first step that I go through is after I've got the poles and such taken out of the tent, whether that's a freestanding tent or a trekking pole tent, I keep the four corners of the tent still staked in so that I can pull all of the mesh and the tent around the floor of the tent body nice and tight and keep everything contained inside so it rolls up a bit easier and I can also see the footprint of the tent. Then what I'm gonna do is grab my rain fly and I'm gonna lay that on the inside of the tent here. Now I also do this the same way every time. So I grab kind of the apex of the rain fly and I pull it into a nice pile. And get it all laid out like that. So then I'll pull the four stakes from the tent and then put them away in the stake bag. So the next thing is pretty key and that's just understanding the width of your backpack so that when you make your initial folds of the tent that you're making it wide enough for it to fit properly into the backpack without any problem. So then it's easy enough as starting to make your folds of the tent. Now I do my folds lengthwise and I'm gonna go the width of the pack, maybe a little smaller. I'm gonna fold both end in. And you'll notice here that I'm a bit like narrower than fourths in this case. So that's pretty important to making sure that this stays the correct width, fits inside the pack really easy. Fold this over. This is probably the most important part of the whole folding process because it makes it so much easier to get a nice tight roll on the tent to make it as small of a package as possible. From one side, I'm gonna grab the end and I'm gonna fold it in half. This is actually something my dad taught me like over 20 years ago. This is really, really helpful in getting a nice tight roll. So what I really like about this is it not only makes it possible to get a really nice tight roll, which I'm just gonna start rolling on this end, making sure it stays good and straight. Now I've got all of those corners and such here at the one side of the roll. So after I do a few rolls, actually roll this back in on itself because then I can just tuck all of that 
webbing, those clips and such into the roll of the tent there and it makes it super, super clean. Now I'm not gonna lie, being in the winter with gloves on, this is a little bit harder than if I was <laughs> out on a summer trip, but the same concept applies to the whole entire process. And boom, that is my entire tent rolled up into a really nice small package. So then I also like to use these Velcro straps for me to wrap around the tent once I've got it rolled nice and tight. So I'll just put it between my legs, take my Velcro strap, wrap it around the tent, and use that to even secure that a little bit tighter. So now what this makes possible is a really easy way for you to horizontally place your tent down inside of your backpack. And it just fits like a glove. Check this out. Now the very last thing is because you've probably got a pole set and your stakes, these are actually gonna pack separate from the tent that you've just rolled up and put inside of your pack. So my stakes, I just put right inside of my pack here, but then I put my poles right on the side pocket of my backpack. And then I'll use my, what is usually gonna be available as a compression strap, just right on the side of the backpack so that I can keep that tall item out of the way and not have to figure out how to try to put it inside of my backpack. That's how I pack and roll my tent in my backpack every single time I go out on a trip. And the process works for pretty much any size tent. Like I've done this for a four person size tent that I've taken backpacking with my family. Three person works, two person, one person. This process is, I think the best way for you to pack a tent for backpacking.